Hello and welcome to this edition of your AFN Honduras Daily News Update. I'm Army Sergeant Michael Lemons. Soto Connor received a visit from the Undersecretary of the Army yesterday. Army Sergeant Chad Guthrie has more. Well, I think you're doing a terrific job. That's the Honorable Joseph Westfall speaking yesterday during his tour of the base. The Undersecretary said Team Bravo should be proud of their efforts and added that everyone is setting a great example throughout Central America. You continue to build the idea that stability, democracy, the freedoms that we all strive for, the things that have made our country great are the things that people should aspire for here. The new recreation center opened this weekend at Soto Cano. Army Sergeant Rob Frazier was there and has the story. The ceremony was brief. However, the results are going to last a long time for Soto Cano. We owe them the best that we can in terms of recreation and facilities. That's U.S. Army Southcom Commander Major General Simeon Trumbetis, who was on hand to cut the ribbon on Saturday. I'm very pleased to see all of the new technological advances we've made in this building, uh, the library, the outdoor recreation equipment, computers, televisions. It's really top of the line, and that's what our service members deserve. The 5,400-square-foot facility offers a closed-in library and computer room indoor bathrooms, and a new conference room that can accommodate up to 20 personnel. The construction lasted nearly 20 months and was completed at a cost of nearly $749,000. The softball playoffs continue this week. Catch all the action tomorrow night beginning at 6 at the softball field. Get more information on these stories and other events at Soto Cano by logging on to the Team Bravo homepage at jtfb.southcom.mil and listen to 106.5 The Power Lizard. That's it for this edition of your AFN Honduras Daily News Update. I'm Army Sergeant Michael Lemons.